This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Fundamentals. Inspiration. Use what you've learned to make whatever you want. Can you make something like this pinwheel? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we can. All right, we got a bunch of functions here. Let's check them out. Draw a line. Okay, so some of these draw staggered squares. Oh, is that? Oh my gosh. Okay, so we've used some of these before for sure. Well, we've made some of these before. All right, so draw, let's see, draw staggered squares, draw a line of squares. So draw staggered squares is going to call on draw a line of squares, and that's going to use draw a square. So staggered squares two times, draw a line of squares. So that goes, zoop, and then what does it do? It repeats this three times. We're going to draw a square. What's that do? Zoop, four times over, it repeats drawing each side. Once that's done, it draw four side, we jump a hundred and then zoop, and then do this all over. So we draw three squares across. Once that's all done, we go back here, turn right 180 degrees, zoop, and draw another line. Okay, so that starts us off with a line of squares. Now this we've seen before because we made one. We're going to draw hexagons six times over. Okay, and what does that when is this called? By this. Draw a line of hexagons. Eight times. So we draw eight hexagons, right? Hexagons have six sides. So that's what that means, right? Not eight times over. It's going to do six time, six sides of our hexagon. Once that's done, we jump forward, draw another hexagon. All right. Let's see here. Hmm. Do we need... Okay, let's do a function. I see, I don't see squares in this unless I'm missing them. Let's draw a line of hexagons and just double check. Oh wow, that's really big. Okay, so. I don't know. Nope, I need to get to here, I think. Oh, never mind. That matches up great. <laughs> okay, I'll do that. Um, and then I would... Well, what if I respawn back here? I jump back to this exact point and do it again. What angle is this? It's not 90, so I bet it's 40. Oh, reset. Wah! And then let's do... How many sides are there? Because I know I'm just going to run a repeat this now to draw that one, and then turn, jump back, repeat it. So let's use a loop. This isn't going to be all the size, but we're just testing still. Oh, that is awesome. And so we have four more, so we just need eight. But then, why is there so thin? Is it... I bet it's set width. Let's see set width. That's better. Okay. And then... Let's do um, 8. Try that out. I think that should be it. And notice it's running through all these functions. So we could run this slow and see how it's doing all of this. But... Draw a line of hexagons is really calling on this, and we're ah, what? Oh my gosh! And look how little code we used. You know what? Something that I just saw in brushes. Oh, reset. We can even change up the color. So what if I want? I don't know, purple. Bah. <laughs> and have some fun with it. Oh, so fast! Awesome. We've learned so much in this lesson. It's been one of the more difficult ones, honestly. And look at all these functions. And we can actually tell what they're doing. Well, hopefully. I'm excited to see what's next. Let's uh, keep going.